So my our topic is about the Java arrays, which is chapter seven, and at the end of this chapter, you will be able to declare and create arrays, access array elements, determine the number of elements in an array, and declare and create multi-dimensional arrays. So in in the introduction to arrays. We have been variables of type int with different identifiers for each variable. So, if you are a novice or a beginner in programming, sometimes we declare variables like, uh, although they have the same type, but they have different in variables. So we we simply type num1, num2, num3, and so on and so forth. And if I give you a problem and you have to ask an input which is 100 integer numbers. So, ang gagawin natin, minsan ginagawa natin is we declare also variables starting from num1 up to num100. So, an array give a solution to minimize the duplication of variables having the same data type. Pinapagamit sa atin yung array. Kasi, sabi dyan, it seems like a tedious task in order to just initialize and use the variables, especially if they are used for the same purpose. So, in Java and other programming languages, there is one capability wherein we can use one variable to store a list of data and manipulate them more efficiently. So, we call it as array. So, an array stores multiple data items of the same data type in a contiguous block of memory divided into a number of slots. So it is just like a stack in your data structures where, wherein uh, it is divided into blocks or slots Now there is a corresponding uh, address or indexes for the possible allocation of the data. Now how do we declare array? So in declaring an array, so we simply type an integer, then followed by the variable name, and followed by the square brackets, or the square brackets can be before the variable name, or it can be after the integer declaration. So itong square brackets na yan, pwede yan after ng integer, pwede rin after ng variable ages, or even pwede rin siyang before. Okay? So, pwede, kahit alin doon, kahit alin dito, pwede niyang gamitin. Now, after we declare an array, so we must create the array and specify its length with a constructor statement. So, means uh, we have to instantiate it from another object. So, kaya nga si Java is an object-oriented kasi every uh, everything revolves in an object. So, halimbawa, if we try to use the integer as the data type, then we create another object variable, let's say yung ages, ginawa natin. We have to instantiate ito new object na integer din. Ang constructor is an order to instantiate an object. So we need to use constructor for a construct wherein a constructor is a method that is called create a certain object. Now, to instantiate or create an array, we write the new keyword. So, kaya na-encounter nyo na yung new keyword and followed by the square brackets containing the number of elements you want to array you want the array to have so it means that the square brackets cannot be interchanged or cannot be placed before the before or after the data type kaya new dito sa new so naka in place lang siya after the integer then the array size diyan lang siya mag iikot ikot kasi unlike with the declaration pa lang the square brackets can be placed anywhere Basta as long as na after siya ng data type. So, pagdating, pag naka-instantiate na siya, hindi na pwede. Okay? So, an, an array ages was declared and it generates blocks of uh, elements that that is uh, capable of uh, accepting values to be stored in every element. So, you can also instantiate an array by directly initializing it with data. Pwede rin tayo mag-initialize like int r is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is how we initialize and no need for the array size declaration. Kasi meron na, siya, meron na tayong initialize na value. So in this example, if we have results, boolean, we have true, false, and we have also grades which is 
uh, 100, 90, 80, and 75 na array. And also the string days, we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So with having these seven elements, we can access already the for each value. Let's say if days index 0, we have Monday. Days index 6 is equal to Saturday. By Sunday, I mean. Now, to access an array element or a part of the array, so we use the number called index or a subscript. So this index number is assigned to each member of the array to allow the program to access an individual member of the array. So it begins with zero and progress sequentially by whole numbers to the end of the array. So the elements inside your array are always starts from zero to n minus one yan. The size of the array minus one. Even though we assign a vari uh, an array size of uh, 100, halimbawa, eto, we declare the array size of 100, but still, since n minus 1 siya, hanggang 99 lang siya. Because the index starts from 0. Okay? So, for example, given the array declared, we have ages index 0 is equal to 10. So, then, how do we print out? Siyempre, ages then with a specific also index. Paano yung index na pwede natin gamitin? Okay, so once an array is declared and constructed, the stored value of each member of the array will be initialized to zero for the number data. Then the reference data types such as strings, so they are not initialized to blanks or any empty string. So therefore, you must populate the string arrays explicitly. Okay. So we have here the following sample of on how to print the elements of an array. So we have to use for loop and prints out the the output. So may bigay ako ng example. So halimbawa, so say for example, we have an array sam array sample, and if we want to declare an array, which is let's say int ages equal to new int. So we have 100, halimbawa. Then, display the value. Let's say for, for int i, it's equal to 0. Then i is less than the ages at length. Then i increment. So we display the value. For ages. Then I pass. Yeah. So it is well, it will display the value even though wala pa tayong stored value sa mga index niya. Pero titingnan natin kung ano yung is default na laman ni ni array sum. So we have Java C array at Java. Okay. Then we run Java array sample. Okay. So, ang laman niya is still 0. So, that is the default value. So, say for example, if we assign a value for an array, let's say ages index 0, let's say is equal to 88, then ages index 1 is equal to, let's say, 56. Then ages Say index two is equal to let's say seventy seven. Yeah, pero na tayong tatlong laman. Pitingin natin sa output na yan. So we have test. Okay. So still it outputs the value of each element and array. So kung gusto niyo, if you have to select a specific value lang ng element and array, let's say Kung meron tayong 88 na value, 56 at saka 77, pwede hanggang dito lang yung i-output natin. Kasi yung remaining niya, 0, wala naman siyang, kumbaga, wala naman siyang silbi. What's the use of 0? What's the use of uh, more zeros after the values ng the first three elements? So parang walang silbi naman itong 
zero zero. So we have to code. Okay. So we will use if. So uh, if if ages index i is equal to zero. Okay. So gawin lang natin is to break para hindi niya na i-display yon. Okay? So yon, ito na lang yung gini-display niya. Kitin natin. Yan, tatlo na lang yung gini-display kasi what if I add another input? Say ages. Okay, nagdagdag ako ng input. Then I put let's say 500. Ang mangyayari, we have display the output. Yan. nag add na yung 500. Every time na mag-add tayo, magdadagdag at magdadagdag na yan. So, it's just like a database where we, wherein we store values. So, it is usually better to initialize or instantiate the array right away after you declare it. So, we have int r is equal to new int. Let's say the, the in array size is 100. is preferred over the int r which is instantiate it on the next line yung new object niya. Bakit pini-prefer yung itong unang declaration kasi minsan eto nakakalimutan na i-instantiate pa. Naka-declare na yung array, nakakalimutan ng instantiate and sometimes it occurs an error. So the elements of an n element array have indexes from 0 to n minus 1 and there is no array element that is unlimited or infinite or in factorial. So, this will result in an array of index out of bounds exception. So, every time na sumobra siya doon sa A, limited, sa limit ng array, it always displays an error na array index out of bounds. Kahit itrap nyo yan, hindi natin niya matatrap eh. Kahit gusto natin itrap yung error out of bounds, hindi yan mangyayari. Now, we cannot resize an array. So, hindi natin. Kahit mayroon tayong mga variable na linalagay doon sa as constants, remain as constants, hindi pa rin natin yan mababago. Kasi once it is declared, it is already declared. So, in order to get the number of elements in an array, we always use the length field of an array. So, the length field of an array returns the size of the array, which can cost by writing the array name plus the length. So, to get the uh, maximum size of the array. So, in this example, we have to display the... So, ginawa na natin ito kanina. So, it, it displays the value of all the... the content of the ages na array. So, when creating for loops to process the elements of an array, we use the array objects or length field in the condition statement of the for loop. So, this will allow the loop to adjust automatically for different sizes of arrays. So, declare the size of arrays in a Java program using name constants to make them easy to change. For example, we have to put final int array size is equal to 1000. Anong bakit kailangan natin minsan mag-declare ng... Halimbawa, kopyain ko lang ito ha. Kopyain ko lang itong declaration ng array. At least mga lima declaration. So, I'll just... Let's say, ito gawin ko lang itong name. Ito gawin kong address. Gawin kong gender. Gawin kong ID. Halimbawa, yan. Then, change the data, data type. Gawin natin itong string. Ito, string then. Ito, string then. Then, also, the object is also for the string. Okay, string din yan. Kung wala pang array size, tayo yung declare. Nakaisip ako na, chase this array size to 50. Ito, lima pa lang tong sample ng declaration ng array size. Let's say 50. Isa-isahin ko yung papalitan. 50. Kasi nakaisip ako na dapat 50 lang eh. Yan, papalitan ko yan lahat. 50. Okay, ito pa, 50. Yan. Ngayon, what if I use an array size. Okay, final. Pag nagamit kasi ng final, ibig sabihin, hindi na pwede magamit yung variable na array size sa declaration mo sa baba. 
kahit sa isang block lang, kahit sa for loop, hindi na natin magagamit. Okay, final. Let's say final. Let's say int array size. Array size is equal to 100. Wow, 100 lang yan. Ang gagawin natin is, ito ng array size will be the, paano siya, uh, default array size of each array. So, default na natin siya. Ayun, nakaisip ako. Kuhin ko na lang siyang 50. Gawin ko na lang siyang 50. So, papalitan ko lang ito. Gawin ko yan na 50. And that's it. Hindi na ako mag -isa, isa pa. What if malaki na yung system ko? Malaki na yung program ko? And lahat ng declaration ng array hanggang doon sa baba, meron na. So, this is very helpful. Yung mga constant na yan na ginagamit, declare on top para isang palitan lang. Lalo na kung if you are testing some codes, uh, you, you, you use the array size, then you have to maximize the array. Kung gusto mo siya gawing 1,000, at least pwede mo siya gawing 1,000 dito. Pwede natin siya 1,000. Automatic, the array size will be converted to 1,000. Now, next is we have the multidimensional array. So, multidimensional arrays are implemented as arrays of arrays and these are declared by appending appropriate number of bracket fields after the array name. Okay, so, at least, I think more than bracket fields na to, Two or more. So, in a multidimensional array, you just imagine a table. Mag-imagine ka lang ng isang table. Table in a way na yung kung sa kung sa HTML, we have table there. Sa Word, sa Excel, pwede tayong gumamit ng mga tables doon. Okay, so parang ganun yung itsura niyan, ng two-dimensional array. Okay, so we have here example. We have integer array 512. This is our large uh, size of two-dimensional array. Biro yung 512 rows by 128 elements. Then we have also character array which has 8 by 16 by 24. Okay, three dimensional naman siya. And we have also the string array for four rows by two columns. Ito lang yung pinakamaliit with a constant or initialized value. So dito muna tayo magsisimula sa pinakamaliit na two, four rows at saka two columns kasi kung ito masyadong malaki to. Mahirapan tayo nito mag, kung i-drawing natin siya. So, let's begin with, ito muna tayong sa small. Okay. So, small tayo si Terry, Christine, Tobey, Fido. So, yung mga color nila, brown, white, gray, and black. Okay. So, tingnan natin. So, ang magiging itsura niya is like this. So, a 4 by column, a 4 by 2 column. Tapos, dalawang column. 4 rows and 4 columns. So, kung iisipin natin, meron tayong index na, ito yung value niya, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So, we have also 0 at saka 1. So, dito si Terry. Ang color ni Terry ay brown. So, sumunod si Christine. Ang color niya naman ay white. Sumunod naman si Toby. Color niya ay gray. Sumunod si Fido, color niya ay black. So, how do we access this value? Ito, yan, ganyan na yung itsura nila. I asked for the value of 0, 1. So, ang magiging result niya will be brown. Tama? And if I ask 3, 0, so the value is Fido. Tama? So, and so on. Okay. So, paano pag-initialize yung ganit, ganong itsura? First is, we use a string a dogs. So, two-dimensional. Then, opening. Okay, ganyan yung opening natin. And, ilang rows yun? Apat. So, first row, second row, third row, and fourth row. And the last one is the value for the column. 
have Terry, na ang color niya, color is brown. Next row, we have Christine, which is the color is white. Third row, we have Tubby, the color is gray. And the last row, we have Pido, which is the color is black. Okay, so yan. Now, kompleto na. So, since it is a two-dimensional array, expect also the two for loops. Okay? We have the outer loop and the inner loop. So, dalawa yun. So, so, for the outer loop, kung i-display natin yung, out, yung input na yan, siyempre, unahin natin yung outer loop. So, int i, so int i is equal to 0. Then, i is less than the dogs that length. Then, we have to increment the i plus the inner loop so for for int j is equal to 0 j is less than the dogs that length parehas muna natin ha so, mamaya na natin yan ayusin okay plus we have i plus i j plus plus j plus plus then we display now the output out the three ln okay. sagawa so, natin siya ng let's construct an output the let's say the name of the dog is the concat dogs we have the rows will be the outer loop so i and the inner loop will be j so the name of the dogs tapos Let's say the name of the dog is Terry and the color is, let's say, dogs. Then also the inner, which is I outer loop, and the inner loop is J. Okay? Yan. So, ang maglumabas na output is the dog is, the name of the dog is Terry and the color is Terry. The name of the dog is brown and the color is brown. So, may nagkakaroon siya ng array index of out of bounds because it is already more than 2. Why? Kasi the value of dogs that length is equivalent to ilan yan? 6. Ay, 6. 4. Equivalent to 4 and ito equivalent to 4 which is dapat dalawa lang. So, we will replace that with 2. With a specific column. So, ito na lang yung gamitin natin. Okay. Wala naman siyang error, but the the answer is still in repetition. Terry and the color is Terry. Brown and the color is brown. Okay? So, ano yung sunod na gagawin natin? So, ang gagawin natin is we will cut these two strings. Two strings. Ano ba? Cut natin ito. Gawin natin siya. Ganito na lang. Darawang output tayo. Yan. Ito, EJ, EJ na lang natin yan. But, kulang pa tayo. So, to be sure na tama talaga yan, we will use if K is equal to 0. Then, para mas sure. Okay natin, no? dito, hindi ako gamit ng if. Kung kagaan na ito. Gawin natin na else. So, if J is equal to 0, then else, ganito. Okay? So, gumana naman siya, and the name of the dog is Terry, and the color is brown. So, tama na siya, but hindi pa natin nasasatisfy yung output in just one line. Okay, sige. LN, tama na to. Okay? So, tama na yung lumabas na display, which is the name of the dog is Terry, and the color is brown. So, the name of the dog is Christine, and the color is white, and so on and so forth. So, tama na so, in multidimensional arrays, we access an element in a multidimensional array just the same as the accessing the elements in a one-dimensional array. So, say for example, to access the first element in the first row of the array, so we simply write the index of each rows and columns. Yeah.